Hey, Hayes Meg here, and welcome to another episode of the Hayes Omega Moto Solar Garage Project, okay? Um, I almost got everything. My batteries are coming in on Saturday. It's like Friday right now, so. Um, Friday morning, yeah. Um, so, but I do have my Dally BMS, okay? So this is one of the important components uh, for the uh, for the solar garage project, okay? For the battery, okay? You gotta have the BMS on the battery to protect it, okay? So if you guys don't know what a BMS is, it's a battery battery management system is what it is, okay? And it, basically, it makes sure bad stuff does not happen to the batteries, okay? It's like a a little computer that protects your your uh, protects or manages your battery okay so nothing it doesn't get too hot doesn't get too cold don't no overcurrent you know that kind of thing all right so uh so here i got a dally 250 amp bms all right uh, i'll tell you how much it costs and then we'll go unbox it real quick all right um so it was $153 when you buy it off of Amazon, all right? And then there's a $30 shipping and handling, and then uh, and then there's tax. They even collect tax on it, too. Uh, can they do that for international stuff? I don't know, man. But it wound up being $200 when it got to my door, okay? So so it's like $153 plus the shipping and plus the tax. It becomes like $200, okay? So pretty expensive. You could have pretty much, yeah, you can almost buy like a couple batteries, <laughs> like a battery or two for that with that kind of money, okay? But it's so it's a by a company made by Dally. Uh, it says here. All right. Oh well. Anyway, we'll go we'll go unbox it. So that's how much I got this guy for. Um, Two hundred dollars to my door. Okay. It's supposed to be like a pretty decent BMS. Um, they're made in China, and uh, and yeah. So, um, where I heard of him was uh, Will Prouse's channel, okay? He was making this milk crate thing with some batteries, and uh, and he installed one of these BMSs with it. So, so this would be a pretty high-performance BMS, okay? It'll let you pull a lot of power from it. All right, here's my go. All right, are you guys ready to do an unboxing? So, there's the box. It kind of... It came to me a little bit mangled, all right? This is exactly how it came to me in this box. Hopefully it's not damaged. That's definitely one of the first things you wanna check when you unbox something, okay? So here it says Dally BMS on it, there you go. Um, and it's, I guess this is a company that makes, that what Dally stands for is Dongguan Dally Electronics Company, all right? It sounds very Chinese, <laughs> I just wanna say. Um, all right, so let's go open it. All right, there, well, there's a there's a website right here on this side, dallyelec.com. All right, there's their phone number if you want to call them. And I believe that's it. This is just some stuff for the box, box dimensions and stuff. Let's go open this bad boy up. I don't, I don't know what I don't know why it was so hard to get that part open. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> there it is. Let me go open the box a little more, and then we'll take a look at it. All right. There you go. There's your Dally 250 amp BMS. You know what it reminds me of? Like a video card is what it reminds me of. Right. Okay. So here. There is like some kind of... Okay, these are the instructions right here. Okay. It's so basically... You got a battery negative. And then the battery positive. And then you go to the, the load right here, okay? Something like that. When we, when I install it, we'll go over it in a little bit more detail, okay? Um, do not welding wire when BMS connected. <laughs> Please make sure the wire wiring welding is correct before connecting BMS. For smart BMS, I don't think this is the smart BMS, okay? Okay. 
there's that. There, I think this is like a return label or something. Okay, service card. All right, this looks like the balance leads right here, the balance cable. It's for 8S, all right, for 8 in series. So we should count them. Make sure it's an 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, there you go. And then here's the BMS itself. So that's it. That's all you get. <laughs> Get the BMS, an instruction manual, instruction manual, a return card, all right, and you get a uh, balance leads, all right. Uh, let's take a closer look at the BMS. It's pretty massive. Holy moly, yeah, it's heavy. It's got some heft to it, that's for sure. All right, it's got screws on it, so you can screw it on. Uh, it's got holes for screws and stuff. And uh, and yeah, so there's your battery negative. Uh, yeah, that's your battery negative, and then this is your your load for deposit for the negative. Okay, and then it has a cooling fan here. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't. It's not on all the time. <laughs> I think it's only on when you're pulling heavy loads. Um, Okay, and then where does the balance lead go? Okay, there's the balance lead connects right here, okay. Okay, balance lead connects right here. Just like that. Okay. And then that should be it, yeah. There, it looks like there's some kind of COM port right here. It says NTC on it. I'm not really sure what that is. I have to look at the manual. This is just an unboxing, okay, guys. When I install it, I'll go over it. Uh, inst the installation in more detail. But there it is. It's pretty big. It, it like I said, it reminds me of a video card. Is what it looks. It looks exactly like a video card. <laughs> Almost. All right. So here's some here's some data on the side of it. Dongguan Dali Electronics Company Ltd. 8S 8S BMS. All right. And then discharge current, 250 amps. Charge current, 125 amps. All right, lithium iron phosphate, common port. Okay, so it says, it says BMS, 250 amps right here. All right, there's a big dally sticker right here. Why don't they give me more stickers, man? And, uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much all the markings that are on it. Okay, so the reason I chose a 250 amp BMS is because the battery is, uh, has a 280 amp hour uh, battery. So you could, if you were, theoretically, if you could pull 1C off of it, then you could pull 250 amps. Now, that being said, uh, I found out that the inverter, 3000 watts, if you pull the maximum amount of power through the inverter that I bought, you're only going to pull 40 amps. So, <laughs> so it's, not, it's not really that much honestly so so this is this is pretty much this is overkill for a for an application okay but but you could pull 250 amps from the battery safely okay that's 1c okay it's a 1c discharge it's less than 1c actually 280 amps would be 1c okay so but i don't think we're going to be pulling that much that's what i want to say all right all right, there you go. That was the unboxing and a little show and tell for the Dali 250 amp 8S 24 volt BMS. All right. Um, hopefully it works when we when we plug it to, when we plug it together. Okay. All right. Let's make out. All right. By the way, this manual that they gave me is not even the one for this this BMS. <laughs> it says 13 series 13S. All right, so 13S 40 amp. All right, so um, that, I was wondering why it says 13 here, okay? But it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, in our case. Uh, I don't think it's very uh, very complicated, though. And, and there is also a requirement for first use of smart BMS. Make the battery board. Make the battery board is activated by clicking an activation button on the BMS. Charging activation. Huh. 
okay. Yeah, it thinks we have a smart BMS. We don't. This is not the right. I'm gonna see if I can download the right manual for this. This is not the correct manual. This is this is a 13S 40 amp BMS, where we're supposed to have an 8S 250 amp BMS. So this is not the right one. All right.